Nobody likes to age, but as women age and they go through menopause, they often lose their interest in sex. Not just because their husbands look old, but due to... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> but due to vaginal dryness I see. and atrophy, uh -huh. and it results in painful intercourse. Mm. So as a result, they often use lubricants and moisturizers to try to correct the problem, along with hormones and so forth. But some, somehow they found out that these things seem to be contributing to the problem. So you might say, well, how can this be? Well, new studies suggest that a change in the vaginal flora. The microflora. Could, the be, bacteria. could be one of the causes. So it turns out that our vajayjays may need a little probiotic. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. And if it was just that simple, that would be terrific, guys. <laughs> <laughs> because a study was done on this that was published in the journal Menopause in October 2013. And what they showed is that as women age, the flora, the microflora that are down there change because what the environment changes. And as there's less hormone and there are more other issues that develop as we age, uh, the tissues aren't as able to nourish themselves, the, macro, the microbes that live down there change as well. And they're associated with vaginal dryness. I can pain. see it now. Jamie Lee Curtis. <laughs> <laughs> Yogurt, <Activa>. where? Activa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's right. For your well, private you could, parts. <laughs> well, you could do that. That would be kind of a, a mild way to try and deal with the problem. But it could be a lubricant. Well, you could do that. But, I mean, there are vaginal probiotics now that you can get. But what the people in this article are saying is that there are special <laughs> kinds of uh, cocktails, basically, of different kinds of microbes that should be used in this kind of setting. So it, it makes sense. I mean, we have a, a microflora in different parts of our body everywhere. We live in this complex ecosystem with the whole environment, whether it be on our skin or in our vagina or in our, in our colon or nasal passages. It's a very complex ecosystem. It's interesting because up until now, it's always been blamed on hormones alone, you know, mm -hmm. for, for the change. So, yeah, well, it's certainly part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so there's other reasons, too, that the vaginal flora can change, just like the flora can change in our stomachs or our intestinal tract. Sure. Like from antibiotics. Absolutely. What's the first thing you think of when you take a course of oral antibiotics? Yeast infection. A yeast infection, sure. And there are ways of preventing that if we just use, like, say, something like Saccharomyces boulardii, a long name of a friendly fungus that competes with Candida, uh, with Melilius, so that it doesn't get uh, a foothold in the vagina and cause the infection to occur. Another thing that's not such a great idea is to be douching a lot. Or really, you don't probably need to douche because mm -hmm. that's going to mess up the, the flora also. Well, it depends. I guess if the, it depends on what you put in it. Well, plus a lot of them have artificial colors and flavors and well, whatever. Exactly. So we look at this whole topic of what is in the microflora of the human body. The stuff that's in the, uh, in the vagina is important as well. And then this study that was done at Johns Hopkins and the University of Maryland on 87 women who were aged 35 to 60 they found that there were different kinds of microflora there depending on what the age of the, of the woman was. And so we now know that uh, there are things that we can do that maybe could reverse this if we just measured what was in the microflora of the gut. So doing a vaginal culture would be one way to do it. There are ways to do genetic testing, as we can on, on the gut now, to determine what kinds of microbe lives down there. And I think we've got a whole future of medicine, Vicki, that's, that's turning in, in a new direction. So this particular topic is kind of like an introduction for most people into the fact that we live in a symbiotic relationship with trillions of microbes that have a lot to do with whether we're going to be healthy or not. And when it comes to vaginal dryness, it's important there as well. So I think there's going to be a time soon when we start doing vaginal cultures just like we do with GI cultures to see if there's an abnormal relationship there the wrong bugs that cause symptoms like dryness and uh, pain during sex. <laughs> <laughs>